Aries, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you are interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet checked him out, he is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Spirit wants to remind you that the intentions of today create your tomorrow, right? So whatever it is that you wish your life to transition into, the actions that you must be aware of are of in the present moment. And the universe is asking for you now to be real with yourself on what it is that you desire for your future self, right? You desire what that, that feeling within your spirit you truly desire is, right? And to know that you are always being taken care of and guided and the, how you know that, right? It's not just words here, we're gonna give you the real deal, is that when you feel passionate and excited and at peace and satisfied and joy, right? That's how you know every decision and action you take is aligned with your soul, okay? So what you wanna do is if you're not really sure about what you desire in your life or what it is, what's the, what's the result you're looking to receive in a particular situation, that's where you're going to want to sit down and get that intention down on paper, right? But even if you just sit with yourself, maybe in the morning time over your morning coffee, your morning tea, where it's a, you know, you can bring forward an energy of stillness, right? Peace, calm, right? Maybe whip the kids off to school when you're, you know, sitting in the car afterwards, maybe take that moment, right? Wherever you can have 10 minutes to just yourself, but not in traffic, not where it's going to be stimulating, where it's just yourself, you're going to be able to receive a lot more clarity because it's still and it's calm. Right now, the universe wants to remind you that, again, taking, your, taking action steps today for creation of your tomorrow is always going to amount to success. And we are going to jump to the end of the movie real quick here and just remind you that beautiful, powerful opportunities are aligning with your energetic frequency as we speak. There is nothing that you have to worry about, beautiful Aries, not a darn thing. The only thing spirit wants to remind you of is that when you are feeling disconnected, maybe from the beings of this world, the other beings, maybe when you are not feeling like you fit in or you belong anywhere, maybe when you are feeling left out or disrespected or not feeling like you believe in yourself because you're not receiving a particular response that you are longing for, you're desiring from the world, that is the time, beautiful soul, where spirit is saying, come back to us and allow us to reignite you and remember and remind you who you truly are, who you truly are. Because if you're not receiving any of those things that we just spoke about, it means that your mind and your body have been too active and they have been pushing aside your soul's desire. When you live life from a soul inspired place, you are constantly in the energetic frequency of soul, which means that you are such a magnetic being those around you flock to you. They wanna hear what you have to say. They wanna know who you are. It's just a frequency. It's very magnetic. It's, a, it's almost like this feeling of overall confidence. However, when we are needing things to go a certain way or really wanting things, as soon as we want, we push away. Remember that, as soon as we want. We cannot want. We have to understand that the desire comes from the soul and des the desires always come from an inner sense of knowing, ha, huh, I know I desire a rescue dog from a rescue, uh, from a rescue uh, place in our area. I know this. Now, it doesn't mean that I'm going to go about looking at the website and trying to figure out which dog and wanting it and wanting it. No, it's just an inner knowing. I know this is what I want. And when the time is right, the universe will present it. Get aligned with what you know. Get aligned with your desire. And then in every single moment, every single second of your life, that's the, that's the awareness. You've got to be present, okay? And you've got to be commanding your words. See, you don't want your words to, to start leading the dance, right? You always want your soul, right? You always want your soul to be leading the dance through every moment. When you walk into the kitchen, what's your soul saying that you need? Not because 
Your, not your body saying, eat this, not your taste buds saying, eat this, then you're gonna be overeating, you're gonna be eating the wrong things, you're gonna feel awful, then you're gonna try to fix that feeling with eating more or consuming caffeine because your mind and your body are the ones leading, right? When you go to off your soul, you always make the choice that is best for you. And that is when you really are leading a spirit-inspired life. And that is where spirit wants you to prioritize your awareness right now. What is your soul, your heart? What is your heart reminding you? What is your heart saying? This is where universe wants you to focus. You focus on the desires of your heart, right? You keep that focus. You keep it steady. You prioritize what you know you've got to get done. You prioritize what you know feels right for you in that moment. You keep that focus and the momentum builds. The momentum grows. You collect data. You learn experiences. You receive the, the information on what you enjoy and maybe not what so much you enjoy, right? And it's not about remaining in that awareness of what you don't want. It's about immediately resetting the focus to what does feel right for you. What does leave you in that intuitive, energetic, high frequency. That's what it's about is staying aligned with your intuition right now, Aries. And that way, when opportunity and options and choices present themselves for you, you're not going to make that mind choice or that body choice. You're going to make that soul, spirit, intuitive choice, right? And you're going to know what that feels like because you've been living your life practicing that state of being, that state of awareness, right? And just right before getting these reads, I'm actually battling a cold right now, not to worry, just something very minor. Um, but ultimately, my body wanted fresh watermelon and fresh papaya, right? Flush it away, right? But my soul knew that if I walked into my reads on papaya and watermelon, I would be so stimulated. I would not have any grounded energy within myself, right? I wouldn't feel grounded. So I would be receiving messages all over the place and I would kind of be looking around like this because it's too much, right? We need to feel grounded to know. So I knew, my soul knew that, you know, as much as you want the fresh fruits, to heal really the best thing right now is going to be having a green smoothie did i want it no was it the best choice yes and that's where we listen to the spirit because the spirit and the soul always guides us on our journey with the least amount of suffering right and we see here that the journey you're on is leading you towards new opportunities of abundance and growth and connection and passion and security and safety and respect all of the desires your soul wants now is it going to be met with some uncertainty and some insecurities and some subconscious fears along the way absolutely but this is why when we have the intention of connecting to our spirits it creates this awareness this awareness of ah I recognize that this fear is here however this fear doesn't run the show the fear uh, creates the mind to become very active more often negativity and when we are negative in our minds, our body responds emotionally and vibrationally. You ever notice that when you say something negative about somebody, how it makes you feel really bad? It's because it's not the truth. It's not who you really are. Even bad about yourself, right? But the minute that you're like, wow, I really love, you know, whatever this, this person's doing or whatever I'm doing, I, I really enjoy that, right? Then you're immediately, you're feeling good. You're vibrationally happy, right? Because that's the truth. Because that's where, where we, what we come from. That's what we're all about. We're not here to hate and to judge and to criticize. We're here to simply experience and to truly experience unconditional love in every situation. And we know that's kind of a, a, a large statement to, to say because many of us are not in that state or that awareness, but always know that is the, the concept here. Because when we're on the other side and we do not have a physical body, we are just a consciousness. So your consciousness knows what a dog is, knows the concept of a dog. Your consciousness knows what the concept of what it is to have a body, to move it, to create stuff. It knows but we don't experience it. We're unable to, we have no body, we have no emotional state. And that's why we're here on planet earth is to experience, experience what it is to have a physical body. This thing is so cool. What is this? This is a hand, right? Like to experience rings on the fingers, tarot cards. We, we know the concept of, of the love of a dog or a family member or the, or the feeling of compassion or a hug or a kindness or a compliment, right? We know what the concept is, but to experience it emotionally, right? Physically, that's what we're here for. Try to remember that because it will bring more uh, uh, an easier time for you here and it will bring more of an awareness that 
we're only here for a, a time and your experiences truly create. So what's in your awareness? What are you longing to experience? Because the minute you open up your awareness to, I desire to experience all matters of abundance, all forms of love, unconditional love in every state, every awareness, every being from myself to those around me, right? Choosing not to look at the negative, choosing not to look at the fear, but choosing to look at the love and search for the love and see the love, choosing to do so, that is going to bring forward the success and the changing of times, right? So always know that. And don't ever forget to bring, to give yourself rest on your journey. Rest is very important for us. Stillness, rest, a time out, a break, not to constantly be going, 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 giving yourself that time, even if it's once a week, even if it's twice a week, but even if it's every single day in small parts, right? But make sure that when you're feeling that strain, that, that, that pressure, that tensity, that's where you're going to want to create some peace and some uh, distance from whatever it is that you're working on so that you can realign yourself with your heart, with the truth. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.